Good eye, gentlemen. For all those who want to see the difference between the good old healthy TE30 A36 with 9 amp battery, this drill is roughly 7 8 years old and it's working every day, drilling a big, big, big amount of holes. Um, size for 16s and M20s roughly 200 mil 250 deep in the concrete slab um, now we're gonna check test to see the difference between the new one that we got here Hill TT E3022 with the wrong battery I always like the bigger number at the back, 36 and 9 amp battery. These ones, I guess, are 4 amps and 22 volts, something like that. Doesn't matter. Uh, the size, the size of the drill is more or less almost identical. Yeah, so th the difference is only in the battery. Yeah, actually the housing and everything is absolutely identical. Yeah, exactly the same. So actually, I would say this is the same drill, only powered with different battery. So let's see the difference in the... Ha, I know that the drill is good, so let's see the difference then in the batteries. How will it perform here? We'll drill two holes with new one and two holes with old one and we'll measure the time to see the difference. Okay, here we have 22 mil, 22 mil healthy drill bit. Battery is full. Let's go and see. Battery full. In the end of the day, my opinion, Neuron is not better than good old 9 amp battery, and this is the reason why. This battery can drill seven columns before it's empty and is charging. Neuron can drill three columns. For those seven columns, it takes 45 minutes to drill them. 45 up to one hour, it depends if we hit in Rio bar or something in the concrete, but let's say 45 minutes in best case. Um, in those 45 minutes while we are using second battery, the first one is on charge and it's already, these batteries never get overheated. That's, I never noticed that these batteries can get overheated, so you don't waste on them to cool down before charge and that's the advantage so this battery while I'm using the second battery this one is in 40 minutes let's say 50% surely or maybe even 75% already charged so when you put second battery on charge you get the first one and you can still do five columns at least without stopping so in that time it's already time for lunch break so you can charge your batteries while you're on lunch we're using the neuron it's i think something like four amps battery the size the capacity of the battery so because it's small battery and 
after three columns i put the battery on charge but it did not charge because it was overheated so it took more than half an hour for the battery to cool down i used the other battery i fully discharged the battery after three columns three columns were roughly done in 20 minutes or so and the other battery did not even start yet charging because it was overheated and it was still cooling down so there you go the work stops after you discharge two batteries you cannot continue anymore it takes you maybe one hour of waiting till you charge the first battery so you can start again charge the second battery simply you cannot work continuously like with big 9 amp batteries my opinion these are better they are heavier they are double heavier but it doesn't matter anyway the job is hard and heavy so it's even better if the drill is heavier you don't need to push it in the concrete much it goes by itself so it depends what you work and how much you use it if you use it whole day long every day and all day i will stick to 9 amp if you are using it for a few holes and if they are not big like we are drilling for m20s and 250 mil embedment you can stick to Neuron, new technology, if they say it's better. Personally, for me, I didn't see anything better. So, because of the smaller size of the battery, it's not better at all. So, if you ask me, in my opinion, if you have these batteries, stick to this battery. Even if you can buy second hand, they are still good, better than, than new technology Neuron. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll try to make some more comparisons later on. Maybe the battery, maybe the battery because it's first time used, I don't know, it got shocked and didn't have 100% the power. Maybe that's why it got overheated, can't say. I'll tell you more in some other videos when I have more experience with them in the next few days. Thank you for watching my video.